When Second Chance arrived at the state penitentiary in Ensenada, Mexico, there were 450 inmates, and this number later swelled to as much as 1,300 at any given time. Over 99% of them were on drugs. Up against tremendous odds in one of the roughest prison environments, Second Chance immediately went to work implementing their program. Once they were operational, they invited senators, representatives, and high-ranking government officials from the U.S. and Canada to tour the program and see firsthand the results that could only be described as astounding. When I came to this program, I didn't like this program. I have been addicted to heroin for 14 years. And I didn't think I could get rid of it. When I saw this program, I got really worried. I thought, these people are going to kill my heroin. As an eight-year state senator, I've traveled all around the state to the different prisons, talked to prisoners, looked at the rehabilitation programs, and I've never seen anything like the Second Chance program. I visited uh, Ensenada Prison uh, yesterday and uh, the program Second Chance. I had some reservation when I agreed to make the visit, but I spent several hours going through the program and watching what was going on and was uh, shown the program from the beginning where they take them off of uh, drugs through that cycle and on the, the modules for communication skills, education, and uh, I talked to several of the offenders. Some of them had been on cocaine for 10 or 15 years and they are off of that now and happy about it and are very anxious to get other people off of it. They have no desire to return to drugs. I became very convinced that uh, it is a tremendous program, one that changes uh, people's lives. You might expect somebody to be able to get off drugs, but not to then have such a viewpoint of themselves and of the world that they want to contribute and they want to make up for past mistakes. There are those who say, you know, that uh, methadone is the treatment for heroin, but you know, it can be done with vitamins. And there are those that say the best size facility for treatment is 35 people, but it can be done with 800 at once. The Second Chance program in Mexico is one of the best I've seen. I've been uh, over a lot of this world, and uh, I want to commend uh, those who started that, and uh, I am certainly going to be taking that back to Canada with me, and we'll be back on that, I can assure you. Miracles come in many forms, and Second Chance has brought 800 miracles that we have seen today in your program. You're in the business of changing lives and, and giving hope, um, high credits to the elected people, to the wonderful committed staff, and to those of you that have made this possible. Congratulations. It was very clear as we spoke to the individuals and listened to them and their stories uh, that they had in fact changed their lives significantly. Extremely impressed with it and I wished we had it <laughs> in every state, every community because it was very, very impressive. You know, drugs are stealing the minds and bodies of, of our society. And when you see a program that gives them back not only their bodies but their minds and the will to go out and create a life for themselves again, it really is impressive. This program seemed to be so well put together. They looked inside to see how they happen to get there and uh, you know these are all valuable steps and uh, is again I mean it's just I think a fantastic program and something that we should have much more of. Something as simple as vitamins you know be given is uh, I don't know why hadn't somebody thought about that before I don't know. I could not get over as she did the, the vitamin and nutri nutrition treatment and this uh, the sauna which I had never even thought about, and it's just stupendous. That is a great program. I'd like to see some of our people from uh, in leadership from 
the United States going to Mexico and actually view how this program works. It does have a successful rate of putting people back on the street clean and not wanting to go back. 95% do not go back into this drug culture, which is positively amazing. The unique part of it is that so many individuals at once are actually getting off of drugs. That's virtually unheard of since it is the most successful program in the world. Most importantly, there was a focus on building the skills necessary to have a life. Uh, it's one thing to get clean, but too often we see people get clean from the drugs, but if they have no hope, if they have no set of skills, uh, vocational skills, social skills, living skills, uh, the chance of relapse is just very, very great. So the fact that this program focuses on, in a very structured way, learning skills necessary to get along socially, to have relationships with family, and also to begin gaining vocational skills really gets at the essence of recovery. This is the first that I saw that's a total program. We're doing some portions of this program in Michigan, but nothing like this. We're spending more of our money on corrections than we are on education. And I think in the long run, this will be the excellent program. These men are actually taking a hold of their, their future and taking control of themselves and saying, no, this is something that I caused for myself. This is the point at which I began to travel down the wrong road, and this is where it led. And now I'm going to go back and I'm going to fix that. And not only am I going to fix it for myself, but I'm going to fix it for my family. The only person responsible is yourself. And if you think somebody else is responsible for your crimes, then you're wrong. Because you're never the victim. Everything that you do is because of you. You're the cause of it. And if you're going to do something, you've got to be responsible and face up to the problems, the situations. I can call Second Chance Program a miracle. Because without it, I probably would have been dead by now. But uh, thank God I'm alive. And it's just a totally different Martin. This is the new me. This is me. This is the real me. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Martin Rodriguez Mombela, and I'm in charge of the self-respect module. We used to lose a lot of opportunities in our lives and, and always being, being a losers. Now, we, with this program, we could be a winners. With other tools that I have gotten from this program, I know how to run my life, and I'm a control. Not the drugs anymore, not the crime anymore. It's me. I'm the one making decisions. I'm the one controlling my life. During a six-year period, Second Chance took over 6,000 inmates off heroin and crystal meth with a program that utilizes vitamins and not once were substitute drugs used. We've identified Second Chance as a program that works. Let's not miss the opportunity. Let's move forward. Let's put it in different prisons. Let's put it wherever we can around our country and move forward to change people's lives today. They explained to me about the program that was operating there, showed me a video, then I had to see it for myself because I just couldn't believe really in my heart of hearts that that could be operating in those circumstances. With all the chips stacked against them, I just couldn't believe that it could work. I was proved to be wrong, in fact it did work, it's, it's marvelous. According to the Department of Justice, the United States has a criminal recidivism rate of over 63%. That means over 63% of those released from prison are reincarcerated. Second Chance was tested in an even harsher environment in Mexico, where the criminal recidivism rate exceeded 80%. The results were astounding when three university studies showed that Second Chance cut the criminal recidivism rate to less than 10%.